Joining us now is a man who did that this weekend in a beautiful fashion. I think a few hundred thousand dollars was Ooh, raised wow. in this man's house uh, over the weekend in beautiful Columbus, Ohio. Now, his house is a mall. <laughs> Figured. His property is massive. Mm. 75 yard tent in the side yard didn't even know it was there that's where the event was taking place an actual carnival was happening in his side yard and his neighbors couldn't even know that it happened because they can't see from how far back into his land he lives <laughs> maybe the nicest house i have ever <laughs> walked into wow wow ever every room is like oh this is the nicest insert name mm -hmm. of room <laughs> yeah. i've ever seen let me turn the corner oh fuck this is the nicest name of room. Oh, like don't sit in living room room sure. I've ever oh. seen in my life. Oh, this is the night. Every room was like that. Amazing. This guy is living the way he is. And I got a chance to see the attic that he tries to burn down every single day mm. with his massive torch flame and cigar. That's like maybe the best quality setup sound studio really? I've ever seen in my entire life. Look. Ladies and gentlemen, a man we all owe a lot more respect to, I think, on a daily basis. Former fifth overall pick who signed for maybe what it looks like $750 <laughs> million yeah. guaranteed, ladies and gentlemen, AJ. Yeah. What's going on, AJ? What's happening, man? You look uh, yeah, very tough in that belt buckle. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's not just about being tough. It's about letting people know that I've been there, done that. Mm. I've wrote it all, and I've come back on the other side. Let's talk not about the belt buckle and what I've done. Let's talk about you. What an incredible, incredible event you put together this all week. Right. Yeah. That was awesome, dude. That was really cool. I've been to a lot of events. I, this is the first time I've ever been invited to an event, though, to not work it. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, nice. So I, I think this is the first time I've ever gotten to experience event. Normally, the only time I get invited, they say, hey, clown, going to need you to work, though. You got it. Getting a chance to go and experience it, my wife and I, we absolutely love it. You're doing good things over there, AJ. That should be talked about a little bit more. Hey, well, we appreciate you and Sam coming. You guys were a big hit, and you added a lot to the uh, the occasion. You even bought an auction item, a, a live auction item that I'm sure you will get to at some point. But, yeah, I, I have uh, – obviously, there's tons of people that – set everything up and work on it all year long. So it's not, you know, I am, me and my wife, we host it, but they do all the work. So yeah, we, we appreciate them and everyone that came. But honestly, you were awesome. I mean, people, Stop. I think when they see you in person, they're like, oh, I didn't know they are, they make humans like this, like this guy that <laughs> cruises around, just everything about you. It's a great thing. I think it's, I mean it as a compliment, but I think, uh, yeah, you guys handled yourself great. I think it seems like you guys had fun. I don't know. We had a blast. My wife and I don't, First of all, like I just said, we don't get invited to these types of events unless I'm working them. So it's like my wife either goes and she brings a friend to hang out with or she doesn't go at all and I'll see you later afterwards. This is the first time we got to really go to an event and enjoy it. Hey, a lot of motherfuckers there. Though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there was a lot of people there. And, and I think that was a little bit alarming to both of us as we smoked our fourth or fifth of the day. You know, we looked at how big the crowd was growing because we were staying at his house, which... Once again, I did, it was like a fucking Four season resort. <laughs> yeah, I lost in there. Dude, they had like a, you know when you walk into a hotel, uh, maybe there in some hotels though, there'll be like a welcome letter yeah, you know, oh yeah. there. Yep. And so, they had a welcome letter to their what? guest Chocolates room. Chocolates on your pillow? Wi-Fi password, a whole snack oh. thing. A whole snack Good thing. God. A whole, a whole snack thing. It was a marble bathroom that we were staying in. Of course. God. That we were staying in nicest house i've ever seen in my entire greatest host of all time and then his it, lady hawk right she uh -huh. wakes up in the morning she makes breakfast for 50 it feels like <laughs> yeah, and the food was unbelievable it was uh, you guys did an incredible job i just want to let you know we had a lot of fun but we were we didn't know how it was going to go with us to be honest it's not something we normally do everybody was very nice it was a hell of an event yeah well speaking of that you being at the event and saying you were a little like overwhelmed multiple times so we had we have there's a cop there that just is there to, to work the event and do everything if there's noise complaints multiple times people would kept saying man who's smoking weed like, is there somebody smoking weed here and it was they couldn't figure out where it was coming from and you would just hear random people like oh yeah i saw some other guys smoke like everyone said multiple people were and i was like i'm pretty confident i know where that's coming from. <laughs> Hey, you did put us in a wing that was pretty well hidden, though, so we appreciate that. We got a chance to sneak away a few times and come back. And I, I, I did, you know, I have to say this because I hope people go to your events forever and ever. This is his 10th year, by the way, doing wow. this. Wow. 
Yeah, it's fucking unbelievable. I guess in years past, there had been potential tours of his house that people were just giving themselves to. Oh. Just right outside, they just walk into the nicest house of all time and just roam. Isn't that kind of how it went there for a few years? Uh, every once in a while, yeah, later in the night, there may be someone that we are acquaintances with or we're somewhat close with, and they start dragging random friends that we don't know through the house. And, oh, hey, don't go that one. There's Axel sleeping in there. Hold on. <laughs> oh, Jeez. Axel, by the way. <laughs> Warrior. Legend. Yeah. Axe was everything that we could have dreamed about, by the way. <laughs> Anything go. we thought of this guy who knocks on the door that is right to AJ's left there, pounding on that thing, <laughs> kicking people wherever the hell he wants. And I believe he, the first thing he actually said to me once he kind of was okay with me, because at the beginning he was just punching me. Mm -hmm. nice. you know, just like punching me in my hand or in my legs or anything like that. One point he started snorting on me. I think that was a good time. He like started snorting on me. That was a good come together moment. And then he looked at me one time and just said, uh, butt cheeks! And then, <laughs> wow. then went to punch me in the butt. Yeah, so he is yeah. everything yeah. that we, we could imagine. But the party dude was, it was amazing. And, and I said earlier, like, I normally only get invited to these unless they say like dance clown, you sure. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I almost got out of doing all of that at this event. He signed me up for something that was maybe the worst spot I've ever been put in. <laughs> oh no. Ever, it, it, Not even close. If that's no! the worst spot you've ever been okay. put in, I feel pretty good about your life so far. Okay, so he asked me if I would want to be a horsey. Okay. You, were that's right. you said, absolutely, yeah, this is my time to shine. Like you were juiced. That that was not the answer. I will I will let everybody know that that was, what is a horsey? I said, what is a horsey? What is going on? He's like, well, it's this race where there's dice. They roll dice and then you move forward and then people bet on you. And if they win, they win money or whatever you want to do. I'm like, sure, I'll do that or whatever. Then I get to the, sh to the whole thing, the whole song and dance. The way you be a horse is you get called up onto the stage. All right, and dance, 450 people, 75 yard tent. There's people on stilts, clowns walking around. All right, there's a lot happening at this point. You go up there, you have to cut a promo, okay, to the people on why they should bid on you or buy you because you're gonna win the race later or whatever. In the race, literally, you just stand there and two dice roll. So, Bob Carpenter, General Bob Ooh, Carpenter. Yeah, here we go. Hey. <laughs> you get, hey, you guys really bonded. General Bob Carpenter, maybe most electrifying human oh. of all time. Wow. You hear me? So we were told to dress like a carnival and there's gonna be a circus happening. So I wore just a red and uh, black tank top with black shorts and my wife wore like a black dress. It was just like, okay, here we go. AJ had an entire circus master's costume on. His wife had this custom, it was, Ooh. there was people wearing hats and mm -hmm. masks and there was a lot of shit going on. General Bob Carpenter, I think he was uh, Tarzan. I think he was just, what, what, he was, he just wore. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Yeah, and that, by the way, that was like at the beginning, like Speedo bought him. Wow. And he had boots on at the beginning. And I was one of the first people to see it and he just showed up. Bob Carpenter, he's still playing football with the Ohio State <laughs> Buckeyes, right? In the, in the, I, I heard a story. Yeah, yeah he's, he's jumped into a few bowl practices when I let him, yeah. Put pads on oh. back in bowl practice. <laughs> what? Yeah, he put pads on. Animal. Played in bowl practice, yeah. And he, I guess he described it, he was pumped he didn't have to do uh, individual drills or whatever. Yeah. So the coach of the Ohio State Buckeyes had to go, hey, General Bob, you don't gotta do these. Yeah. <laughs> Just get ready for it. So he is, Matt, I'm, when I'm talking, he looks like a fucking RoboCop like thing. He's hey, huge. Pat, hey, one of my favorites was when, you initially, like everyone, Bob and his wife were there, they showed up, and then we're in the kitchen, and you just stared at Bob, and you're like, what? And you just kept looking at him, and then he looked at his wife, and you're like, is this, is he always this vascular? Is this just what he is? <laughs> like, you, it was awesome. You had, Bob had to feel pretty good. Bro, he looked like a superhero, okay, with how yoked he was and everything. Veins. That, and that was, he was fully clothed at that point, and then he went into like a, a phone booth, and then yeah. he came out, and he was wearing this Tarzan one sleeve, and, it, and they, I guess, who forced him to put the black tights on underneath that? Because he was going to go full thigh. Uh -huh. There's people wearing suits at this thing, <laughs> and, and Bob's just walking around this Tarzan thing, yoked out of his mind. Okay, just absolutely yoked, having a good time. He grabbed the mic five, six times, cut promos. Ooh, wow. during, during this auction thing, he was doing full ha. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, Hulk I mean, it was, it was fucking electrifying. He grabbed the mic a couple other times to sell a couple other items that were definitely, 
you know, definitely expected him to say things that he mm -hmm. said to 450 people live. Yeah. Uh, General Bob, is that just who you guys hire for entertainment every year? He was <laughs> unbelievable that night. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I texted him before and said, thanks for always coming. Thanks for bringing the juice, man. You really, uh, you, if you need somebody at an event that is going to not only enjoy himself, but get everyone else around them to enjoy it, uh, invite Bob. He had a good time. He had a good oh, time. Oh, yeah, ripping it up. Um, you know, there was a couple speakers, and I think this does come from being in a locker room when you're in a team meeting and you listen to people speak a lot. You know, General Bob and I had some good judgment of the speakers that were speaking at sure. the event. Doctor came up on the stage. Okay, very smart doctor because the money, they're raising so much money. They did something. This doctor gave a speech that was, you know, very good. Very good speech talking about uh, some sort of protons. And uh, I mean, oh, it okay, was gotcha. scientific. It was very good. Real work has been done because of this hawk thing that happens mm -hmm. at their house. Like millions of dollars have been raised and like real, like this is a Damn. really good thing. The doctor, though, made the dreaded mistake of reading his speech. Oh, no. Can't do it in public. Me, me and Bob, just as soon as he started reading, we're like, come on, man. Come on, just let it eat, let it eat. Mm -hmm. And then we, we try to give it a chance, you know, as we're listening to the words coming off, they're like, oh, really good stuff. Clapped him off, this doctor is great. And then literally as he got past us, Bob goes, I gotta go tell AJ. He, I think he got up and I think he <laughs> told you, right? Is that what he got up and told you up there? Is that what he I told think he, he mentioned something about, it. yeah, reading. Yeah, he, he <laughs> literally, can't do it, can't come do on. It. Can't have it. Then another doctor came up and that doctor kind of, you know, hit the boom, boom, boom. It was just, uh, General Bob Carpenter is a man. I, I don't know what it would be like to be around every single day. I have no clue how how your life would be able to top itself each day, but I think General Bob Carpenter could do I mean, it. I the guy saved Big Ten football. Boom. I wish I was around him when that was happening. Oh. <laughs> so bad. We missed out on that completely. Thank you for your event, though. Thank you for the hospitality. And uh, I was thoroughly impressed with everything you had going on, AJ. Hey, hey, once again, I, we appreciate you coming, man. We're glad you had a good time as well. You, you took a selfie with the Roosters thing, and my wife's friend who runs a bunch of stuff at Roosters is so juiced. She's, she's going to start making Roosters tank tops now because of you. Ooh. I will say this about Roosters, okay? I grabbed the Rooster. He obviously had. There's a mini donut truck out there. Yeah, of, of course. course. There's a Rooster out here. There's Fried tacos. Stuff. There's Spares no expense.